Hello, my name is Tim, and I just received today Suburbia Collector's Edition from Kickstarter. Ooh, look at the shiny box. This is a video to show you how to pack the box because unfortunately the official video was rather lacking. So I'm gonna go through step-by-step step in great detail exactly how you put everything into these lovely game trays that help you organize the whole thing. So you'll notice here on the side of the interior of the box, you do have these little expanded diagrams that show you how things go. On one side, it's the bottom few trays. And on the other side, it's the top few trays. Unfortunately, it doesn't really go into great detail and it leaves a few things out as far as what actually goes where. So I'm gonna go through and show you all of that stuff individually, every single little section. To start off, we've got the bottom here. And on the bottom, we've got our reference cards. Let's just drop right in there. We've got over here in the upper left, we have our convention tiles. And you can see on these convention tiles, there's a tiny little icon here that shows a dice. And that same die icon is on the tray down at the bottom. So that is going to be a recurring theme throughout this organizer is that you look at the icons on the tiles and they match the icons that you see on the tray. So these here are your SN tiles. They have a little map icon on them and they go in here. And then on top of your convention and SN and your reference cards is where your little city bases go. So drop those right on there. Moving down to the bottom half of the box here on the left and the right, we have our special CE tiles. So I'm gonna pick one of those up and you can see if it'll focus here that the CE tiles have a little CE icon on the right side. So there's the airplane icon and there's the CE icon and all of them have that icon. And again, that icon matches what you see at the bottom of the tray here. So there's nothing in particular different between the left and the right. You just split it up put it in there. Same thing with the goals here. These are the goals for the base game. They have a little meeple icon on them, little meeple icon down at the bottom. Drop those in there, split them however you want. And then these are all the base game A, B, and C tiles. This is here is just a stack of C tiles with the one more round on the top of it. And you can see on these, there is no special icon. That little space right there where the icon goes and the other ones is just blank. And that's how you know these are for the base game. And you can see under the bottom here, like these say B, and it's the same deal. So once we've got all of these in here, before I put the scoreboard on top of there, I want to show you something real quick. So if we look at one of these B tiles here, we've got skyscrapers. So on the skyscraper, there's this tiny little skyscraper icon, and that matches these special wood pieces here. So if we look at these in the upper left corner here. This is the little skyscraper icon or wood piece and it's made to go on top of all of the tiles that come into play during the game that have that same little matching symbol on there. You just set it on top like that. So that's the that's what these wood things are for which we'll get to the storage of in just a second. But if you look on on these if you see one of these special markers in the right that's what it's for. Other than the ones that indicate the special like collector's edition and expansion stuff, which we'll also mention later. So let me take our scoreboard here. And if you look in here, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a little indentation specifically for fitting your scoreboard. So I'm just going to set that down in there. It's going to kind of drop into that space. Let's pull it up here. You can kind of see the little extra space along the bottom and the right. Now the bottom is done. So the next up, we have the second layer. We'll start with this tray here. This has our five each of base suburbs, community parks, and heavy factories. And again, we've got the same matching icons under there. These are the starting ones that don't say A, B, or C on the back. They just have like the art on the back that matches like a park or industrial or whatever. And we're gonna have more of these, but they go into the other tile with the starting goods for each player. These are just the five extras of each. And then around the perimeter here, we have our special wood token markers, skyscrapers, little pencils for the schools, little airplanes for the airports. I believe these are briefcases for the business tiles. We've got fork and knife for the restaurants, and then just two little cars for the car dealerships. In the middle, we've got the coins 
We've got our 10 coin, 5 coin, and 1 coin. There's a lot fewer 5 coin than there are of the others because a bunch of the 5 coins are in the starting goods for the players. So I'm going to put the lid onto that section there. It kind of clicks on and set it right down in. Now we move over to this one. And this is where our starting pieces for each player go. If you have more than five, the extra wooden tokens go along up top here. I don't, I just have the five, so we've got our five separate things. So in, in each one of these, I'll take it out, we've got the suburbs, the community park, and the heavy factory. And then we've got here is where I put all of my little 2x markers and three each of the five coins, so the 15 starting coin set in there and then we've got our little meeple our rectangle our circle and our star for counting on the various scoring tracks and using on the five star expansion so each of these looks the same it's just the different color meeples is the only difference here it's the same set of tiles the same set of three five coins and the same two x markers investment markers to be specific so let's close this one up Set it down in there. All right. Next up, we've got the market tray. And literally, it's just this. It's the tray, and then there's a single cardboard punch out that has your market. It kind of, if you push it in there and press it down, it actually like press fits. It's not going to fall out. And you just set that down right in here, like so. And you'll note specifically where the tall part of it is. This part sticks up a little more than the rest. So the next tray is gonna set with that tall part sitting underneath that corner there. Okay, the next tray is expansion stuff. So we have all of our Suburbia Inc. stuff is in here. So those are the ones that have this little necktie icon on them. So you can see these are the, the bonus, sorry, the goals and here are the A, B, and C tiles, which if you turn them over and look at the other side, you can see in that same little spot there, there's the necktie icon. And same with these borders as well. There's borders in both the Suburbia Inc. and the Five Star Expansion, but the way you can tell the difference is on the bottom right corner of Suburbia Inc., there's a little necktie. So your A, B, and C tiles for Suburbia Inc. go here. Then you've got... I'm going to take these off so you can see what's underneath them. So we've got our bonus tiles and our challenge tiles. Again, we've got our little necktie icons. And then on top of each of those, I'm just going to put these here, the little score challenge and score bonus ones. And then we're going to put our goals. And you can see there's a little bit of a round cut out there for those. Now these are the A, B, and C tiles for the Nightlife expansion. And you can tell that because it has the tiny little moon, crescent moon, on the corners. So you put your A, B, and C there. And then at the bottom goes your nightlife goals, which again, look for the little moon icon. And then your nightlife bonus ones sit on top of those. And once you do that, this tray is done. So you take it and you set it on it. All right, let's get this down since we've got room now. And our last tray, which is the five star expansion. So we've got our five star borders that sit here. Again, bottom corner there, we've got the little star icon. We've got A, B, and C of five star, this little star icon. And then A, B, and C here, and these are a little different. So these are, we have our star icons. I stand corrected. Let me go back just a bit. I said A, B, and C without reading that it's actually A, B, A. And that is because the Nightlife expansion is the one that actually came with an extra sheet of some additional pieces. And so they don't all fit exactly neatly. Like all the A's don't fit in the A stack and B's and C's, etc. There's some extra tokens here, but they all do fit and go flush like easily you just have to spread them out so it's not a perfectly set ABC moving back to the five star so these are all just ABC there's no difference between these I've just split each stack in half to fit them 
And then down here at the bottom of the tray, we have our stars, little first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And on top of those, you set your goals. And it's not gonna sit perfectly flat because those stars don't fit exactly right in there. They don't, there's not like a little, you know, little cutout like that for it, but they fit all right. And then on the very end is your tourism challenge for the nightlife expansion. Kind of just sits in there like that. And that one's done. And when you put this one on top, it actually sort of clicks on and, and forms the lid for the one underneath. So you sort of click that down. And then I'm going to put the last little lid on here. Nothing fancy, just a lid. Keeps that top one all neatly shut. And finally, we've got our tower, our tile tower. So you can see I've put it together here. Inside of the tower, you can put your first player marker. You can see I've already stuck the little LED, assembled LED into there, and it just slides into there. Now, there was also an extra LED mechanism, so I'm just gonna throw that in there as well. And then you rotate it so that the cardboard fits just right in there. The little cutout is in the bottom right. It's pointing down that way, and it fits in there perfectly. And then lastly, for some reason, the punch outs all had paper coins as well. So if you wanted to keep those around, there's actually room for those in here too. You can just take this little bag, put throw them in one of the bags that you don't need for something else, and they just sit right there. And that's it. You get your instructions, and they sit right on top. And finally, put the lid right on. And there we go. That's it. That's Suburbia Collector's Edition, how to pack the box properly. Thanks for watching.